This past year, the Steelers Experience Building finally opened to the public, but not as intended. If you got to experience Malice in Wonderland during Phantom Fall Fest in Fall 2022, you were in what was supposed to be an interactive exhibit that placed visitors in a virtual training camp with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Obviously, this never came to be. Looking at this space now, it is a huge facility in a landlocked park that's now only home to a seasonal haunted house. I took a tour of this place and there is so much missed potential. So let's change that. Let's discuss theoretically what could be the potential replacement for Kennywood's Steelers experience. As a reminder, none of this is official and is just wishful predictions. So let's get into it. Steelers Country at Kennywood opened in 2019, with the anchor attraction being the Steel Curtain Roller Coaster. In addition are the End Zone Cafe Quick Service Restaurant, Steelers Pro Shop, and some football themed midway games that was later converted to an open air bar. And that's it in terms of offerings. I think we can all agree that Steelers Country is lacking, and missing a second standout attraction. Would have the Steelers experience been that? I do think it would have gone well initially, but these types of exhibits only have so much longevity. I believe it would have been removed after a short run. So what can go in this space? The building is approximately 240 feet by 58 and a half feet, but we have to consider the pro shop and restroom on both ends. So we're looking at approximately 176 feet by 58 and a half feet. So what can go in this space? I think there's only one obvious answer. Enjoy the ride. Yeah! Oh! For real, I do have a couple ideas that could be more realistic to go into the Steelers Experience Building. First is an indoor theater. Kennywood is currently lacking in their entertainment, and having an indoor theater would bring a whole slew of possibilities. Plus, it would bring an indoor activity that could be used in the heat of the summer or in the cold of winter. Shows can change out, and even bringing in local groups can keep the theater relevant. Now, a theater can only be useful if there is a cast of performers and an audience. So, how about rides? Steel Curtain is great, but it's the only ride in the area. How about a ride that attracts families or a wider range of riders? For me, what comes to mind first is an indoor scrambler. This is not out of the ordinary, as several parks already have indoor scramblers. Put some lights, fog, lasers, and music, it would definitely be a big appeal. If it's still affiliated with the Steelers, have it themed to a tailgate party. Another idea is a dark ride. Now, I'm not exactly sure how you can have a football-themed dark ride, but I'm pretty sure someone more creative can come up with a somewhat decent idea. But if the Steelers licensing would ever drop, the possibilities are almost endless. Personally, I would love to see a return of the Ghost Ship Dark Ride. My final idea may seem far-fetched at first, but how about an indoor roller coaster? You would be right if you said there isn't enough space. I thought that too. But then came Skyline Attractions Peschetti Bowl Coaster. This is a compact, weld-free family coaster that can fit in very tight spaces. Concepts show it in an indoor family fun center. Heck, one already became an art piece at a museum. The largest single track model on Skyline's website measures 152 feet by 38 feet, fitting under a 30 foot roof, and it would definitely fit in the Steelers experience. A custom layout is also possible. 
Skyline also advertises custom decals and even light up boards on the track. Add in music, lights, and some props, and you may have something. If under the Steelers, you can have the track look like the football field as you maneuver through various plays. This type of coaster would be a nice fit in the park's lineup. Little Phantom is the most mild coaster in the park, and after that, you have Jackrabbit and Racer, which even then could be too much for younger riders. This could be fun for everyone. Now, this would be Kennywood's second indoor coaster, but who would complain? So those are just some ideas I have for the Steelers Experience building. Now the Pittsburgh Steelers may not forever be affiliated with Kennywood, but these ideas I feel can be generic enough in case the licensing would ever drop. Will any of these happen? I doubt it, but you never know. What are your thoughts? What would you do in this building? Leave your thoughts in the comments. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like it and subscribe for more content. And with that being said, thank you all for riding, and I'll see you next time.